What's up YouTube, LGS here with another pickup video. As I mentioned last time, I am going hard on getting stuff complete in box right now for the SNES. You know, at least some of the games that I grew up with, you know, the stuff that's sentimental to me. Mega Man X here, I snagged this for 50 on eBay. The only thing is the box is pretty chewed up, but it's almost like this thing's never seen the light of day. It's very, very, uh, still, still got the finish on it, if you will. Uh, Sleep cool surface. Uh, this one's complete in box. Donkey Kong Country. Got Bubsy. Got a little tear right there. It's over. I'm not tripping about it though. It's good shape. This one's complete in box. Got a double with a super tennis. This one is no manual, no insert, no nothing. Um, this one is no manual, no insert, nothing. Just box and game. Got a double with this. That's just the box. Miss Pac-Man, just the box. I don't have that game yet either. I can't find it for a price I want. Um, F-Zero has the manual in there, no insert. I have the game. I got a couple of uh, copies of the game. Uh, Super Mario Kart, I'm really happy about that one. Um, I got a couple of Super Mario Kart games actually. I should have just got another one. Oh, that's a player's choice as well to go in here. And um, But I don't know, I have to check and see if there's a difference between the manuals for those. Um, I actually don't have Yoshi's Island yet, but this was part of the lot. It's in pretty good shape. I don't have the manual. Um, I'm definitely on the hunt for both of those. You know, Yoshi's Island is just one of those games, like, I'm not gonna go over... I'm probably not even gonna go, like, close to $30 for it. Like, I, I've been waiting it out. I've been wait I've had so many opportunities to buy it, right? It's like, sometimes... That's not how I get a ton of games, by shelling out a ton of money, you know what I mean? I have to be patient, wait it out, and I know it'll come to me eventually. There's the box right there though, most janky box. Um, I have a double of this now, but, uh, so this is up for trade. It's just a box, really fucked up shape. I'd be cool about trading it to you. Um, Scooby-Doo mystery though. Uh, I need the manual, but I have the game, and now the box, this was one of the best boxes in the lot. Um, all those boxes right there costed me 50. Uh, not bad at all. <laughs> I know it. Fucking, let's go to the Sega shit. I've also been hitting Sega real hard. Um, I spent $80 on this lot. I made some money back. I flipped the consoles. There was a broken PS2, broken Sega. We couldn't get to work. I just let my friend, they repair stuff, let him take it. Um, but I got a lot. There's a, quite a few good games. Um, I'm going to show the cases and then I'll show the cards. I don't, I don't know. I have them displayed in separate places. So uh, there we go. Fucking Pebble Beach Golf or whatever. We got the Tiny Toon Adventures, the Konami. Um, Rex. All these are, all these are complete in box right here. Uh, no, no. A lot of them are missing the manuals. Sorry, some of these are missing the manuals. NBA Jam. That one's complete in box. Um, Lion King, just the box, Sega Classic Football, just the box, Sports Talk Football, Joe Montana 2, I don't care, I'm one of those yahoos that don't like sports games, I could care, games I could care less, uh, we got Batman Forever, just the box, and this one's pretty obscure, uh, Pocahontas, the cart was in real good shape too, I'll show you in a second, this, um, was just the box, unfortunately, uh, Sunday Night NFL, Sonic 2, of course, because you can never buy anything Sega without getting that fucking Sonic in there, right? Uh, and then you got the NFL Quarterback Club and Terminator 2, the arcade game. This was outside of the lock. I got this for outside of the lot. I got this for six dollars, complete in box. So I got a couple of those cards. They're pretty damn common. I see them a lot. Okay. And then also it came with the Sonic and Knuckles. This flip part still works too. That's cool. Um, now I'll move on to the carts for the Sega stuff. So we got, there's the Tiny Toon Adventures. It's in good shape. All the carts were in good shape. There's the Rex. Some awesome, awesome, awesome cover art. What the fuck? <laughs> this is old. Sonic 2. Sonic 2. Only one of those were in the lot. Uh, we got the Battletoads Double Dragon. This was in that lot. Didn't have the damn. It's almost I. 
there were empty Sega boxes without the cover art. And I'm assuming it was those boxes, there was about four of them. One was Battletoads Double Dragon, and the other was fucking Gunstar Heroes. Like, I'm gonna be playing Gunstar Heroes. I still haven't done it yet. I'm goddamn busy, but uh, those Gunstar Heroes is probably my best Sega game now. Um, because I haven't been tackling, I've been hitting Super Nintendo so hard. Uh, I also hit PS2 pretty good, but show some more. We got Monopoly, Miss Pac Man, Power Rangers. I wish that box came for that. Uh, Lion King, Fantasia, Tasmania. What's he doing? God, that scared me. What the fuck? Okay, Echo Jr. Frogger, another Ultimate Combat, Mortal Combat, Sunday Night NFL, blah blah blah. There's the Pocahontas. It's in good shape, man. Uh, Jurassic Park Rampage Edition. All these are in good shape. Kudos to their previous owner. All right, I got this. It um wasn't Goodwill. I forget. It's called. It's some different thrift store I'll hit on High Street every so often. Uh, this was three bucks though, man. That silver, so this is what I'm playing with. I like that silver. I'm pretty sure that the uh, minis, this came with like a mini, the, the slim PS2s. Um, I would like to get one in good shape. The ones that I have seen always seem to be pretty scuffed up and shit. Um, the console, this controller's in good shape. I like it. All the buttons are, you know, they're clicking good. Yeah, that's why I've been, I've been playing Devil May Cry with that. Speaking of Devil May Cry, uh, the DMC Definitive Edition, I beat the shit out of this on 360, and, and it dropped in price recently. I went ahead and got this. Uh, a lot of pe This game caught a lot of flack, dude. I don't know why. People don't think for themselves, man. But, I don't know. You know, fucking... I don't even know why I say that. I can understand where people are come from. As I'm kind of a purist too. Like I want to see Dante uh, the way he is. I really enjoyed the new Dante personally. I actually would understand why other people wouldn't. The story and especially the boss battles are so fucking cool. Uh, tell me if you've played uh, the new Devil May Cry. And if you haven't and you like hack and slash action platformer type 3D platformers like that. You got to check this game out. This is worth every penny. Uh, it's fucking fun. And the replay value, you can play it all year. <laughs> like, if you want to, I mean, it's just, you can go and go and go. There's little goals and things to unlock. Like, <laughs> it's a great game. Uh, a majority of these, a couple of these were five. Um, were, these were all two bucks, like two bucks. Beach Volleyball Super Amy. I remember when that came out, it was kind of controversial because you had girls' asses hanging out and shit. I got the Grand Theft Auto 3, the original. Um, that's a real nostalgic game for me. I remember when that dropped, it was pretty a big deal. I'm telling you guys some shit you already know, though. Uh, Giants, Giants Citizen Kobatu. It doesn't look promising. It was $2, though. 3D action platformer. Pretty cool. Prism, uh, 3D action platformer, also 2 bucks. King Kong has got the 191 on there still. This was um, two bucks. I've actually heard good things about this King Kong game. Uh, Spy Hunter, you know, gotta have that. All these have the manuals as well. The thing about this Red Dead Revolver, that's kind of cool. I got this for like five and some change. And, um, but it's got the greatest hits disc in there, but it's a black label box. I asked them if they had a different one. Nope, <laughs> whatever. Oh, and uh, I played, I paid probably 17 for a Sora's Wrath here, just because I wanted to play it. I'm really on this action platformer shit for like the fifth time. It's like, I keep saying that over and over. Uh, Azura's Wrath is really, really fucking good though. Um, it's got a couple things that you might find yourself wishing they would had done a little differently, but it's definitely worth, It's I'm not getting rid of this. This is uh, definitely a fucking keeper. I love the game. Oh, a couple animes. We got the Dante's Inferno anime. It's all right, you know. Uh, Ergo Proxy. Eh, it's all right, you know. Just <laughs> kind of. It had Ergo Proxy had potential to be fucking amazing. Uh, this is the uh, disc one. 
Um, and Dante's Inferno is worth checking out too. And if you haven't played that game, it's an action uh, platformer, hack and slash. You need to check that out on the 360 or PS3. Um, Dante's Inferno is a fucking force, dude. That's a great game. Right up there with Devil May Cry, dude. What else we got here? A couple PlayStation 1s. Crack 2 for 2 bucks. Thrift Store. Crash 2. Thrift Store. This came in a lot with a bunch of NES shit I got. This is from um, Europe. This is in England. Uh, my friend's girlfriend uh, is from England. Her All their parents are... Her parents are fucking straight British. And uh, really cool. <laughs> really cool. Um, but they had this. I guess I came over with them. You know what I mean? And they were trying to sell these games. This was one of them. Uh, the game is Soul Blade. It's just neat. Kind of neat. They're like... A little thicker, a little wider, going that way, you know. Pretty neat. Uh, might be my first import. I don't, I don't have many. I don't think I have any. That might be my first import. I don't really, I don't really want imports too much. That's cool though. That can hang out. Uh, we got another Star Fox, another Super Mario Kart. This card's so fucked up, dude. Whatever though. Um, that. You know, this came in the Sega lot. Both of these did. So in the end, if you do the math, I paid 80, got a whole bunch of games. In the end, I paid about three bucks each for all these. I did the math. Um, Mega Man X, another one. Uh, Ultraman, still haven't checked that out. Quite sure I'm not missing much. Uh, I got two Super Mario All Stars. I picked these up for 15 each. You know, it's just this game's kind of like, you know, obviously the one with Super Mario World. Um, on the same cart is the one you want, but for 15, I'm like, this is cool trade bait, you know what I mean? So, I'm sitting on I got three of these fucking, and then uh, I got Fatal Fury, right? Got, I'm not digging Fatal Fury, I, I like it, I really like the artwork. I'm just not digging this SNES port hero, I'm sure it's a total different um story on the Neo Geo, and I swear to god, I played it. Played Fatal Furies in the arcades at like movie theaters or something. I have a real vague memory. Um, I'm just definitely never any good at it, and I'm not extremely awesome at fighting games, anyways. Um, but yeah, that Fatal Fury, you know, I got it for 12 bucks, and I was like, all right, I'm gonna probably be playing this for a little bit. Nah. <laughs> Whatever though, I'm leaving a lot of NES stuff out. I can't remember what what I've gotten recently. It's been so long since I did a pickup video, and I don't want to watch my videos and see where I left off. I'm kind of just disorganized. Legend of Zelda card's pretty janky. Whatever though, uh, Skater Die, Deja Vu. These cards are in good shape though. Karate Kid and Swords and Serpents. So that's pretty cool. All those all those cards are in good shape. And yes. A couple of fucking Game Boy games here. What do we got? Jesus Christ. We got the Scorpion King. La de blah. Football. Whoop de doo. Spider-Man. Eh. Activision. Uh, Army Men Advanced. <laughs> remember, does anybody remember the Army Man the Green like Army Men games? I remember when those coming out, I was like, what the fuck? I can't believe people are buying these. Sorry if you loved it. Um, we got the Ice Age and Super Mario World Advance. Super Mario, Super Mario Advance. Pretty cool. Um, also, we got Mia Ham Soccer, some shit, and Tony Hawk Pro Skater. You know, whatever. Uh, the big one. We got the Silver SP, this is a 001 model, um, it works, damn it, volume was down, <laughs> but uh, big one in there at the Fire Emblem, that's pretty cool, so I've been playing that a little bit, started that a little bit today, don't know if I'll, I don't know, I have too much shit to do, and then at last we got the Game Boy Color, missing back does work though. It's a shame that's not on there. I really like the color of this one. It's a good shape. No scratches on the screen. Buttons work. There's no. It was in good shape. I got this for 90 cents. Thrift store. They're always slipping on the Game Boy shit. I tell you what. But. Yeah. That's it. You know, I'm real fucking stoked about these boxes. I just need to get the manuals. I'm just banging. I'm banging them out, man. I got a whole bunch of boxes on the way. 
guy. So, you know, these right here, 50 bucks. You got some fucking good ones in there. Pretty good. I'm always, I'm always fucking looking out. I'm always looking out for it. But, yeah, I appreciate you guys tuning in. This was kind of a long video, but my subs uh, deserve it. I have been quite the lazy content creator. So, I know I'm missing some shit. Whatever. I'll get it next video. As always, gang, thanks for tuning in. LGS. Peace.